All right, guys, let's take a look at the Bernhard Watch Company. This is a model that's out of stock right now. I don't know if they'll produce it again or not, but this is the Binnacle World Time, and it is an automatic and very cool watch. So from this brand, you're going to find, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, first off, big thanks to Todd for sending this watch and the Deep Blue watch over. He's a founder member in my Discord group. But from this brand, when you click on their website, I'll put a link in the description, you'll see they have a bunch of different divers, different colorways, and they have some sport model watches as well. All very affordable watches using typically, like in this case, this was has the uh, Miyota 9015. I'm not sure if they've messed around with the Seiko movement, but they definitely used the 9015 for a three-handed and then a date option. Hack, hand wind, all that stuff crazy good prices direct from the uh, website and when you click on it they basically throw 15 percent off i think that's the discount code as soon as you click the link it's going to populate you know, i think you probably got to put like your email or something in there and then uh, pick out a model and get it going so they are a family ran company in north carolina so interesting the uh, progression how they've uh, went on you know f i think fred is the uh the, uh, fa the, f the main guy in charge and then his son Philip and then their families. And uh, so it's pretty cool that there's a, you know, the family element behind the scenes. Anyway, let's get into the specs on this watch. So 41 millimeter case, 46.7 lug to lug. Check out that case shape. It looks like it was just milled out of just one big block of stainless steel, which essentially it was. 13.5 thick, that's including the single domed sapphire crystal up top, 22 millimeter lug width, and a very nice mesh strap that is adjustable with push like split pins and some links here. So I am fine with this design here. It makes it easy and accessible to all different wrist size so you can get it dialed in. Plus you have the four micro adjust on the stamped clasp. Very simple and easy to use. Keeps a nice thin profile overall. I think uh, that's a pretty good choice for this watch. You can see you have a display case back there showing off the automatic movement. These are limited edition, or it was. You can't, they don't have these on their website now. This is number 61 of 1000. It's also labeled on the card. So, World Black 61 1000, purchase date of 319. I noticed this actual model dating back all the way to 2013, so I don't know if they reissued or if they will again in the future. Screw down crown. Um, I didn't find the water resistance of it, but it's going to be 100 or 200 ish. It's going to be plenty water resistant. It has an 8.4 millimeter oversized crown here with a B logo engraved in there. Also on the secondary crown, which is also a screw down crown and operates the inner rotating chapter. As you can see, what it does is you have all the different cities, the main cities, so you can track different time zones. That's why you have the 24 hour register on the outside there. I don't know how that works, guys. So, um, I'm not going to attempt to explain it. I didn't learn it. I don't know how to use it in that fashion. Uh, but here is a quick reference card if you want to pause it and look at that. They included this with the watch. So you could uh, basically, you're going to go by um, UTC. So it's whatever the UTC is minus, and then you can figure it out that way. But it's labeled in cities instead of uh, time zones. Anyway, um, let's get uh, let's do a wrist shot we can do a loom shot i am gonna cheat and charge this up a little bit because i'm not sure how good the loom is on it i haven't checked it but uh, wrist shot this thing feels and looks great on wrist with that mesh strap it just melts right on the wrist because this thing also has a unique case shape it just it's it feels like a cushion case even though i don't really believe it is but it definitely feels like it that has that uh, where it just kind of melts into the wrist. Also, let me zoom back in. You can see it's fully brushed case, but you can also tell that the sapphire crystal is pressed directly into the case. I love seeing that. There's not a ton of watches that do that, and this one does that, and it's very cool. Nice, sharp, polished 
arrow handset with a stark white seconds hand ticking around the outside there. All right, let's do size comparison. Um, I do have an SKX here, it's a titanium one, but you can see there size wise. You know, the dial is going to be a little bit bigger because you don't have that exterior bezel, so it's going to present a little bit larger. But the watch really isn't that big at 41 by 46.7, that's pretty small. All right, let's kill the lights and check the loom on this thing. So, not too bad. It's a nice green loom to the naked eye, so I'm guessing it's C1 or C3. Um, it's pretty white in the daylight, so it might be C1, so I would expect it to maybe peter out a little bit after a little bit of time goes by, but not too bad overall. At some point, I hope to get a diver in from the brand. Um, I've reached out to these guys a long time ago, but my channel was pretty small when I did that. Now I'm close to 50,000 subs, maybe they'll respond to my email. So maybe I'll hit them up and see if they wanna send in a couple different models for me to show off on the channel. But I really like this one. I think they could bring this one back, you know, on a limited run again and uh, push it out, I think. A lot of people like this one. And the price points, guys. They're like, I think they're like under $300 or something. They're crazy affordable. So let me know what you guys think about this brand. If you've owned one and you handled one, what, what were your experiences with it? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you on the next vid.